this is a virus that i created which can spread to other files and infect them in this video let's quickly see how viruses work by actually creating one our primary objective is to create a program capable of spreading and replicating to do this we are going to copy the virus code to other files so that once those files are executed they are going to do the same and infect more files first let's identify all our target files since we are using python to create a virus our primary focus will be other python files we will obtain the virus code from the current file itself next we will proceed to infect these files for now let's simply append our virus code to the beginning of the infected file to clearly distinguish the virus code we will insert virus start and virus end commands at the beginning and at the end of the virus code suppose this is an infected file we can easily extract the virus code by using these two commands we will also need to execute a payload for this example let's create a window that displays payload delivered let's test this approach we will attempt to infect this basic python server As you can see, the server is now infected. If I attempt to execute the server, the infection executes first, followed by the payload, and only after that the server starts normally. The delay is generally more noticeable if the payload involves a complex function. This is why viruses are often written in C and assembly languages, which are known for their high execution speed. This approach works effectively. But let's try to enhance the virus by reducing its code size. We can leverage these Python libraries. to compress the code before infecting the files let's try it again the virus is now significantly more silent thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe